everyone, and in this video, we are be making a double dice roller using Python programming. First, let's go to collab, the research, the google.com, and click on enter. Now, click on the cancel button here and click on new code cell below. Let's scroll down to see it well. Let's call this with a title of Double Dice Roller. Now, we're going to import the module random as our ND. And in the string, we're going to have these Unicode characters from character map to make our dice art. First, let's make the dice. So it's going to be in a list. And we're going to be using these stuff here to do the work. I'll let's use this line here and we'll place the nine times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now let's add these spaces in here. Let's click enter in backspace. Now we're going to use the long line. The way it's nice spaces one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and paste. Now do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and paste. Paste it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and paste. Now let's take these two, copy it, and paste. Now let's use these spaces. And now I want to prefer 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And to make it a square, let's copy one more here. Enter and paste. And we have a square. Now let's copy this dot here. Go to the center and paste it down. I have the first dice. Now let's make the second dice. And the second dice is going to be like the first dice. So we'll basically just copy the whole first dice and paste. Let's click on enter here. Let's copy the dots, delete it. And here, let's paste that. And we'll go down again and paste it again. And we'll have the second dice. Now, if we want to make it all the way to six, we're going to have to copy each dice we make. The amount of dice we make. And now let's make four dices. Copy. So this is the third one. Like the second one, but the dots in the middle. So it's the second plus the first. The fourth one is... Just paste the dot there. And there. Now we have the foot. Now we need two more. So we could basically just copy the third and the foot since they're more similar to the fifth and the sixth. Now to do it, we're just going to copy these dots. And for the fifth, it's like the third got two dots on the each edge of the others. Now the sixth. Now we have all the six dices. We're ready to start. Okay, first let's make each dice. So here let's do backspace. Delete. And delete. And now let's go. 
Let's go all the way to the bottom here. And we're going to make the sign roll dice. So inside here, since we've imported the random module, we're going to make of no variables and say print with f string. Now let's say one and two. We're going to use a triple F string. We're going to keep them here, right here. Okay, now let's say dice, since we need this variable, the dice. And we'll name the other one dice. Now we're going to add these square brackets here. And those are the RDN, the random. We'll say 0 to 5. Then our dn. Our nd. That's random. 1, 0 to 5. Now, if we wanted to print out, I'm going to say two spaces first. And say row dice. Now let's run this here. And we get the dice numbers one and two. Run it again, we get it one one. A six five, a three five, a one four, and a five a four three. Now let's explain it. So in the first one we added a comment. This comment was just for the title of the project. On the third line, we had the import module to import the random module and set it as RND, which is basically just renaming the random module to a shirt defined word keyword RND. Now here we had from character map R dice images we can remove that since we don't need it here anymore the next one we had the variable dice and those character map pieces we use for the dice is what makes all these dices from the one first to the second all the way to the third fourth fifth and then sixth and then the last keyword is the defined row dice so this defined keyword is defining a big code piece that you could use over and over again. Now we'll say row dice and it's a print an F string with three quotation marks, which is the reason why we use an F string. So we can put our code inside here with a curly bracket. We put it once and then we can just copy this one and paste it here again and we have the same thing now inside here. We have the dice variable that we had before earlier, which made all these we made all these six dice in, and with this square bracket, it defines which one we want to check. So here, like this, this is zero, this is one, and so on. That this is two, and the next one is three. So th that's why we use zero to five. So that way, it prints. A random number so if we get five here as the random number since this num since this one here is a five it's going to print this onto the screen if it was a zero it prints the first number one I basically did it again here with just the same thing with the same dice group and now the last line here we had the roll dice, which means that we roll the dice and define this code that we could use over again. And if we run it here, then we get a four six. So yes, we're basically done with our dice simulator. Let's close it up to make it easier. And don't forget you can find me on Facebook and Instagram pages. See you later.
Bye.